I hate this chair. So anyone who is interested in Japanese history or armor knows about the Jingasa, right? You know, this thing? But it's most well known as the conical shaped helmet of the Ashiguru. You know, like this. Well, years ago, I saw something in an online scan of a scroll where a Jingasa was used a lot like a buckler. Then a while back, I came upon this video of it actually being done. Take a look. thinking that this was incredibly similar to the European art of buckler. Let's take a look at that and see what similarities we see. They're Definitely is some similarities there. But I want to see how practical this would have been for myself. So I've decided to do a little test. And then I'll give you my thoughts after the test. Okay, so the results were actually pretty interesting, if I have to say. So initially, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I didn't think that this was going to work as well as it did. You see, one thing that bothered me and really concerned me was the inside of the Jingasa. This is typically how it looks, right? In the scroll work, it actually shows that you're supposed to cross this and grip it underneath with your knuckles inside this little pillow. Now this had me worried because I thought that if, it, if the sword hit, it was going to move it, knock it around, and even um, if it hit on this side, it was going to eat into my arm, which it kind of did. Um, I have a little bit of bruising and redness here. I'm probably going to get blisters. I also have sensitive skin. but. While all of this was happening, I actually didn't notice or feel the, any pain or, or anything. And if your foot soldier is wearing any type of padding or, or armor on his arm, then he's probably going to be just fine. One thing that we did discover is that this was really something you needed to move with and deflect. You couldn't just stand there and uh, block with it. In fact, uh, we actually record a little bit of a clip of uh, my friend 
just using this to just block in standing there and uh, what could happen. Let's take a look real quick. So as you can see, if, uh, if you just stand there and you block, it's actually really easy for a swordsman to then make the next move and uh, come in because this, while it does deflect and, and it does re redirect, it, um, it just doesn't do that good of a job. So it definitely needs some movement. So I guess uh, my closing thoughts are that this worked a lot better than I think. Was this something that was viable that you could definitely use on the battlefield? If this, if your spear was broken, you didn't have a sword or your sword was broken? Yes. And uh, I'm very pleasantly surprised. Anyway, so that's the end of the video. Make sure to like this video. It actually does help, believe it or not. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. That way we can get to that thousand subscriber mark and also so we can do more tests and videos like this. See you next time.